Hey friends, this next week is Mother's Day. So I'm gonna show you how to make a pop-up card. So hang with me, we're gonna get started. To make your pop-up card pop, you need something the weight of cardstock or at least construction paper because it has to hold the crease that you give it. I did not have any construction paper, so I painted various um, colors on some watercolor paper. And then I took my paper and I am folding it over, bringing it the two edges together. And I'm gonna put my hand under there and really, really give it a nice crease. Now I'm going to do the same with my other paper. This is gonna be the inside of the card. So I'm gonna fold it over give it a really, really nice crease. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do to make the grass pop up so that the grass can hold the flowers is I'm gonna put my three fingers on the left side of the fold and I'm gonna draw a line and I'm gonna put my three fingers on the right side and I'm gonna draw a line and then I'm gonna put my three fingers right there on the fold and I'm gonna draw a line. Now, we're not gonna cut this square out. That's just how high we're gonna cut. We're gonna stop right there where my three fingers are. Now, you can try it different heights. You can try four fingers or two fingers, but you don't want to make it too high because you don't want your flowers popping out of the card. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut right on that line and stop where my three fingers were. You've got to stop. And then I'm going to cut on this line and stop right there where my three fingers were. So you can kind of see a square there. And then the part that is in the middle that's gonna pop up. So I'm gonna crease it forward. And really, when I say crease, it's not a fold. You've got to really push it down. And then I flip it over, and I'm gonna crease it the other way. That's not enough. Now I'm gonna open it back up. So now it's like I began. This is gonna be the inside of the card. So I'm gonna put the inside of the card that's gonna pop into the cover of my card. But as I do that, oh, it's not popping. Well, it's kind of like my puppy. You've got to train it. You might have to just touch it so that it knows which way to go. Oh, I did it. So right now I kind of stuck my finger in there. And now I'm gonna hold the two together and I'm gonna train it. Once you've taught it one time and you get all excited about it, it's gonna do it again and again. Let's see if that happens. So I open it up. It did it! And it's gonna do it every single time. Maybe you wanna try an emoji with yellow paper. So I took a bowl and on the crease, I did a semicircle. And then I'm only, when you're making a pop-up card, you need to have a part that is attached that's gonna hold it so that it can pop. So I'm gonna cut the part that has the brown line, but I'm gonna leave that section right there in the middle attached because that's what's gonna hold it. Now, this could be a world, it could be um, a basket, you could make it into anything, or an emoji face. So remember, I, like I did with my grass, I have to crease it one way. This may not work because it's a little bit wet from when I painted it just a few minutes ago, and I'm gonna crease it the other way. Notice it doesn't go past the edge of the paper. And then I'm gonna put it inside another card and train it. And can you see how that, now I just had another idea. So 
I just love envisioning and exploring and stretching. So here's another idea. I cut from the fold, always cutting from the fold. I cut a line, just a diagonal line, and I'm gonna stop right here. This is gonna be the where it's attached. My first idea was to make a vase and put some flowers in it. I could glue the flowers right there on the top. You can see how that would pop. But then I thought, no, could I turn that into a heart? So you can see, I, as an artist, we sometimes change our ideas and come up with a better idea. So if I were to put that inside another card, to train it a little bit and glue it down. I think I've got a new idea. So whatever you can draw that is symmetrical, it could be a cross, um, it could be a vase, as long as it has the edge away from the fold, you need to keep it right there in the middle. As long as it has one edge, that is attached, you can make your own designs. I hope you have fun with this project.